Welcome to TradeEasy tutorial. Today we will see the manufacturing module in TradeEasy accounting software. It provides production planning, inventory tracking, manages finished goods including product lifecycle management. So let's open the software. Enter the username and password and click on OK. To enable the manufacturing module, first go to utilities, then options and enable the manufacturing module. Then a conversion ID is generated. Now send this conversion ID to Team TradeEasy and get code for activating this feature. Now enter the code, then click on OK. The manufacturing module is enabled now. On enabling this feature, you need to restart the software. Open the software. Here you can see the extra option is available now, that is manufacturing. Let's take cycle production as a manufacturing example. First let's create an entry of finished goods that is cycle. So click on product master, enter the product name, then code or model number. Then enter the product group, company, category if available. Then enter the base unit that is number. You can also enter the Arabic name or can directly click on this English to Arabic translation button to convert this product name to Arabic. Then select the product type as finished. Then select the VAT percentage. Then click on save to save this product. Now let's start entering the raw materials that is handlebar. Again enter the code or model number. Then enter the barcode, product group, enter the company, add this company by clicking on yes. Then select the base unit and translate to Arabic. Now let's enter the stock available by clicking on opening stock entry. Enter the available quantity and add it. Then save this entry. After entering all the details, you can save this product. Let's enter another raw material that is brick. Enter the code model, barcode and all other details which are available. Then select the product type as raw material. Then select the tax percentage. Enter the landing cost or purchase price. Then automatically the VAT inclusive rate will be shown here. Now enter the available stock. Enter the quantity and add it. Then save this product. In the same way, let's create one more product and enter all the details which is available. Enter the stock available and save this product. In this way, we have created the products used for the production of cycle. Let's click on manufacturing option. These are the options available to function and execute the manufacturing process from beginning to the end. So the first step is to set the components. Click on component settings. Select the finished goods product name from the first option. Then start entering the raw material products in the second option. Select the product and enter the quantity. That is gear shift levers, handlebars, stems, brakes, saddles and seat posts, wheel, tires. You can also delete the components by clicking on clear component list. After entering all the raw materials, save the settings. Now let's move on to the second option that is creating a batch or reference number. Let's enter the batch number to manufacture this product. Enter the starting date and number of days required for the production of cycle. Then save it. The third option is to create the expense entry during the manufacturing process. Let's enter the production expense ledger name that is fitting charges. This expense will be automatically created under manufacturing expense group. Then save this expense master. Now the fourth option is the issue of raw materials. Select the employee name and the batch number. You can auto select the components from here as we have already set the components for the production of cycle. You can double click on it and can see the components you have already set. Now you can enter the quantity that how much cycle you have to make. Enter that in the production quantity and click on OK. Then the products required for the production of 5 cycle will be coming here. 
the total cost is also shown here then click on save now let's move on to the fifth option that is receipt of finished goods you can select the employee name who have received and the batch number now select the finished product name and the received quantity and add it if the production is completed you can click on yes and then save it then a window is opened to set for costing click on yes and the production statistics window is opened here you can see the batch number the raw materials used during the production and the cost the total quantity of finished product that is cycle five numbers are given here the total cost of production is shown here and the cost of each cycle set is given as 784 here the expense is given as zero now let's enter the expense entry and check the production cost again close this window and save this receipt of finished goods we are not updating the cost so click on no let's enter the production expense entry we have already created the ledger expense name fitting charges so select the batch number and select the expense entry now enter the amount of expense and add it after entering the expense we can save this if any of the product is damaged during the production you can enter it on wastage or damage entry here you can select the product type that is wastage or damage and enter the damaged product and enter the damaged quantity and add it now let's check again the production statistics select the batch number then automatically the components will be listed and the expense entry that is fitting charge that is 50 is also shown here now the total cost per unit has changed to 794 now let's update this cost then click on yes and the product cost is updated now let's enter the selling price the landing cost or the production cost is already given here now let's set the margin percentage then automatically the selling rate will be shown in vat inclusive rate the exclusive rate will be shown in vat excluding rate then click on okay to update the changes the remaining are the reports used in the manufacturing first one is the raw material issue report here you can see the total number of products and quantities used in the manufacturing process next is the finished good receipt report here you can see the finished product and their quantity available after manufacturing and the last one is the stock position at production unit report here are the details given now let's check the stock of the products from inventory reports then stock register from here you can select the product that is cycle the quantity received after the production will be shown as stock in stock register now let's move on to sales for that click on transaction then sales or press the short key f4 this is the sale window select the customer name from the list select the product then enter the quantity and add it if you want to enter the specifications of this product you can click the short key that is alt 1 and save the specifications if you don't want to print the product specifications in bill you can enable this feature now let's save the bill and print it this is the demo print format in which you can see the qr code changes of the bill can be customized accordingly now let's check the stock register click on inventory reports then stock register detailed select the product name and view it the details of stock will be shown here let's check the other product that is handlebar the details are shown here then double click on it the item wise stock register is opened here you can see the opening stock was 20 five quantities were used in production and the remaining is 15 on clicking the issue number you can see that 
this product was used as a raw material during the production. In this way, you can completely manage the manufacturing process from beginning to the end. Hope you find this video helpful. For more updates and videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.